Hi, I'm Courtney Lee, and I like dinosaurs. As you may have noticed, Triceratops are the most easily recognizable creatures out there. They weigh nearly six tons and measure 30 feet long and 10 feet tall. The adult skulls measured more than six feet in length, including the frill, with horns that grew to about three feet long. It's speculated that since their skulls were covered in keratin, the same shit your fingernails are made out of, that they could have been quite colorful creatures. Many Ceratopsians had large frills in their heads, which may have been useful in protecting them while getting their asses kicked, but also in attracting a hot piece of ass. Their frill was much shorter than other Ceratopsids, but was still just as effective at getting shit done. There is also evidence of blood vessels running throughout the skulls of Triceratops, which may have helped regulate body temperature. Elephants use their large ears in the same manner. It's been discovered, through a skin impression, that these dudes may have sported bristles covering their neck, back, and tail. These bristles would have looked quite similar to the quills of a porcupine and are thought to be primitive versions of feathers. Wait, large headpieces, bright colors, and feathers? RuPaul said it best, you're born naked and the rest is drag. If you're a doctor and you put your scrubs on, that's drag. Anything that you do throughout your day to define who you are is drag. This makes these guys even more fabulous. Moving on. Triceratops had beak-like mouths with extremely powerful jaws, which were used for chomping on fibrous plants other herbivores would have likely avoided. Their teeth were arranged in groups called batteries, with each battery consisting of about 36 to 40 columns and 3 to 5 teeth stacked per column. Why were their teeth arranged in such a way, you ask? It's because Triceratops had anywhere from 400 to 800 teeth, all constantly being replenished throughout their lifetime, thus becoming the envy of hockey players everywhere. In recent times, there has been speculation that Triceratops was actually just a juvenile Taurosaurus. However, after analyzing 35 samples, it was found that there were many Triceratops specimens who were too old to be juveniles, and Taurosaurus specimens too young to be adults. Thank goodness, too. You already took one beloved dinosaur from us, science. We'll be damned if you take another. Check back next week when we discover the wonderful world of the Pachycephalosaurus. Does a bull have?